In this video, we'll go from one key to <laughs> two keys using this, uh, sort of. Okay, so I purchased this uh, 2002 Ford Thunderbird and like many cars, it came with just one set of keys. I've already created a video on how to program the remote and now I need to do one on how to program a single key. So to do this, you have a couple of options. One, you can go up to your hardware store, or call a locksmith or whatever, and or a dealership, and have them program one. Hardware store, it's about 100 bucks, 90 to 100 bucks. And dealership, yeah, who knows. <laughs> um, so if you have Forescan installed on your computer with an extended license, and by the way, you can use a uh, temporary extended license, then you can use it to program a key. So what I'm going to do here is open up my Forescan. Okay, so it's reading the card and everything here. Ford Thunderbird, hit yes. I'm going to turn the ignition on now with the already programmed key, of course. Okay, then you go to service functions, Pat's programming, and then hit the play button down here. And here it gives this little, this little warning, ignition key programming, this procedure will add keys to the PAT system memory. Keys already known to PAT system will not be erased, that's good. Uh, you can also do erase and program keys. I don't really wanna do that. And you make a spare key program. So hit okay to get rid of this little pop-up. Okay, then I'm gonna select ignition key programming. Okay. So uh, here it will take approximately 12 minutes to complete this. I guess this is just so you don't grab somebody's key and go out and do it. So for you, it'll be just a couple seconds. For me, it'll be 12 minutes. Okay, so it says security access may be lost if the following actions aren't completed in 10 seconds. The timer starts as soon as the ignition is switched off. Switch ignition off. Insert a new key and then switch it on and hit OK. So switch it off, start the new key, switch it on, and hit OK. Okay, I've heard this error happens and it doesn't really affect anything. So exit out of all this. And the key is not working. Okay, so right here it went horribly wrong. Apparently the key that I ordered had a either the wrong transponder or a bad transponder in it. And so what that did is that left me unable to start my car at all. Even the old key would not work at this time. So what I ended up doing was calling a locksmith that could program keys out. He came out and uh, assessed the si situation. And basically what happened was the car stuck in program mode since it was not able to see a second key. And that was very easily remedied. Uh, he cut and programmed the second key and all worked well. So basically this would have worked fine had I, if I'd had a good key, but I did not. So uh, there's where it went horribly wrong with me. And hopefully for you, you can learn through this. And if it does go wrong for you, don't panic. Just call a locksmith out that is capable of programming keys and get it programmed. It cost me a hundred dollars to uh, to get that done, so it wasn't too bad. At least I didn't have to have it towed into the dealership or anything. If you see that there's still a key programmed while using Forescan, you're okay. Uh, you just gotta. It's just waiting for the second key to be programmed. So let me know what your experience is if you, if you try this uh, or have done this. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please select like down there and subscribe to my channel. If you didn't like it, well, subscribe to the channel. Maybe you like the next one. Thank you for watching.